I think it's very important um, that academia persons meet with the industry person because they can learn each other. And especially the industry person, they have real practical um, talent or practical practices or experience from their working. So when they're together, they can really interact. So they can see the same topic from different perspectives. Uh, we're investing well over a billion dollars every year in research and development. So we're trying to advance science to come up with products that can help farmers improve their productivity and food companies to help them have more nutritious and more preserved food for uh, feeding people. We recognize that uh, nobody can solve this challenge alone of feeding nine billion people in a sustainable way, but we do believe by doing it together, we can be successful. Some of the things that really excite me are, have been the sessions on food security because uh, with 7.23 billion people in the world right now, heading up to somewhere between 9 and, and 10 billion people, uh, we really are going to have a lot of challenges to face. Okay, so it's obvious, right? <laughs> Santa Clara University is our average. <laughs> Today we're first place, officially. It feels great. It feels great. Yeah, it, feels great. it was a lot of hard work, a lot of hard, a lot of practicing. Uh, we did maybe 10 case studies before coming here, so it really feels uh, like all that hard work. It has been a really great experience because as a master's student, a lot of our courses are theoretical, so this is a way to connect with the people in industry and see which problems they're facing and also opportunities for research and opportunities for me as a career in the future. This is the first time I've been here and also the first time that the University of Nebraska has brought teams. I would love to come back. You know, it's really a great honor to be recognized by you of the International Food and Agribusiness Management, IFAMA Association, especially since I'm a relative newcomer to the challenge of feeding the world. I'm very confident in passing the gavel tonight to Thad Simons because he so clearly shares the vision, this new vision that we have of IFAMA as being such a central um, part of the solution to this talent gap that, that exists. We're going to South Africa. Hey, we're going to South Africa.